We're now going to look at how to link data between different worksheets, workbooks and applications. Let's assume we've got some data, um, we've got some here about employee salaries, that we want to use that data in more than one place. We don't want to retype it, we don't want to recreate the formula, we simply want to use that data and by linking to it we can link back to this existing data as well so that if this changes where we've put the new data will change as well. So our starting point is to select the cells that we're interested in and copy them and then decide where we want to put this information. So I'm just going to put them on a new worksheet to start with and that worksheet is called link data. Choose where you want the data to go and then there's at least three ways of doing this. So let's run through them. We can right click the cell and do paste. From there, once we've pasted that information, we can use the clipboard icon, the paste options icon, to choose the style of pasting to link cells. It just takes the raw data, but look what's happened. If I click on any of these cells, look at the formula bar, it's linking it to the paste special worksheet. We know that's the worksheet because it's enclosed in quotation, single quotation marks, and there's an exclamation mark at the end. That means a worksheet. So it means this cell, D4, is linked. It equals the paste special worksheet with the exclamation mark, cell E8. So it's linked to cell E8 on the paste special worksheet worksheet. So have a look at some of these figures, they're all, they're all saying the same thing. So have a look at this one for the uh, Mr. James. If we go and change his salary now, it was 878, let's change it to 978 and go back to where we've pasted that data, you'll see it's been updated because it's linked directly. That was one way of linking. I said there's a few ways so we'll just run through them quickly. So we select the cells that we want to work with, we copy them, choose where we want them to go, and let's this time use the Home tab and the Paste icon. From there we can choose Paste Link directly, or we can go into the Paste Special dialog box and choose the Paste Link button. And there it's exactly the same as the same process, it's, it's linked in, click on any of these cells we can see the address there. Now we're using that as a quick way of doing it using paste special but there's no reason we couldn't just simply type that information in. So in this cell here I could simply type in, try that again, I could type in equals a single quotation mark the name of the worksheet that I want to copy from and you have to get the spelling exactly the same otherwise it won't pick up. Page special close the single quotes, an exclamation mark, which stands for, we're talking about a worksheet here, not a named cell, a worksheet. And then the name of the cell reference that we want to use. And you can see that's linked as well. So we don't have to use Paste Special, it's just a quick and easy way to do that. We don't just have to move between worksheets, we can move between workbooks. Again, let's select the data we want to work with, copy the information and then I'm just going to switch into a different workbook that I've got open. You're not sure how I was doing that, there is another video on it, but basically it's on the view work, on the view tab and then we've got the switch windows. I can switch between different workbooks. Choose where I want this data to go and again I can use right click and paste and then the paste options menu to link the cells. I could of course use the home tab and use paste special from there. Now so these are linked, look at the formula bar, it's linked to the Advanced Excel 2007 data workbook and you can see the name of the work, oops, the name of the workbook is closed in single quotes and We've got square brackets, so it's the square brackets that say the workbook name, and then we've got the worksheet name, 
The whole of that is in single quotes. Then we've got the exclamation mark, and then we've got the cell that it's linked to. Choose another cell, square brackets, for the name of the workbook. A special, whole thing in put is the worksheet. The whole thing is single quotes, and then we've got the exclamation mark and the cell that we want to link to. So they're directly linked. Let's just prove it. We'll switch back to the original workbook, view tab, switch windows, the original workbook. Let's change this data, give them another pay rise, 1078 now. If we switch back to the linked workbook, we can see that's now 1078. It's been updated. Once you've got links, you can use the data tab and then the edit links button, which is on the connections section. Edit links. That shows the link there that we've created. And we can update the values. We shouldn't need to do that because it's quite automatic anyway. Um, open the existing document. But look, we can break the link as well. That's the main thing here. Break the link. If I click on break link and just follow that through, that link's now broken. They are just standard numbers. So if I update the original data, this won't be updated anymore. So that's breaking the link using the data tab and the edit links button. One last thing we can do, if I switch back now to my original workbook, let's select the data. So we've pasted a link to a worksheet. We've pasted a link to a workbook. We can also paste a link to a different style of application. Here I've got a word processing document open and we can do exactly the same thing. I can right click or I can use the paste special and paste link. Lots of different ways you can paste between applications. I'm just leaving it as its default, which is HTML format. You should have a play with these different types. But I'm going to use HTML format, click on OK, and there's the information that's been copied from the spreadsheet. And it is still linked, it's still dynamic, so I'll just shift that one out the way and go back to our original data and let's change this 1078, it's been demoted. I'm going to put it back to his original figure of 878. When I make that change, look what's happened to the word processing document. So is his value. So you can imagine a situation where you've got a spreadsheet of data that's linked in to a report about that data and they are dynamically linked. So that whenever you update the raw data, your report is also updated. That's linking data.